Hey guys, Jeremy here. Um, I wanted to take a minute and share an, a, a huge success we had today um, at the office. And the reason I wanted to share with this with you guys tonight is that typically we see this going the other way and that um, typically in our office when, um, when we hear of teachers uh, recognizing kids that they think have have ADD or ADHD or they can't focus in their class or they can't pay attention, they can't sit still. Typically what happens is it's, it usually happens right around conferences or, um, or you get repeated calls home and the teachers recommend or they kind of drop that word. They say, you know, I think he has, has an issue with focus and that next step is almost always to a pediatrician or... Um, or a medical medical provider and and the answer is usually some type of medication and here's what happens when you start to enter the conversation sooner so we had a, a fourth grader that just started care in our office um, just a couple of weeks ago and um, almost immediately after his very first adjustment we we started hearing that he was doing better in class everything was getting better and better um, and then tonight he was getting adjusted. I said, tell me about it. Tell me what you're feeling. What's going on with, with your body when you get adjusted? And he said, I don't know. I just, I act different. I said, okay, well, what does that mean? He said, I'm just calmer. And, and it, it just brings joy to my heart to know that these kids can, can start to process their world differently when we can reduce the noise in their nervous system, when we can start to take away the that noisiness in their brain and they can actually focus and they can calm their body um, enough to sit in class. And the coolest part of this entire story is that the person who referred this little guy into her office was his teacher and that she understands the power of chiropractic that it doesn't have to be you know, a medical model, it doesn't have to be drugs, it doesn't have to be Ritalin and Adderall first. That can be a last resort when we can when we can look at all the other natural models first and go how do we help this how do we help restore the connection within this little guy's body so that he can start to just calm and he can start to bring connection back into been back into his own body so that he can have have a better experience throughout because he is within I mean within days of his first adjustment his teacher was telling us and he's having the best day ever. He's having the best day in our class that he's ever had. He's really starting to focus. He's doing so much better. And to hear it from his own, from his own mouth, say, you know what? I just, I feel calm. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm acting different. So it's out there. We're starting to enter the conversation earlier. We're starting to get into the, you know, into the schools. We're starting to reach teachers. We're starting to do workshops for the stress management classes at the high school, um, all because we are starting to get louder and our you know, our message is being heard and people people are looking for drug-free answers um, to help their kids and to help themselves and to really help their families start to thrive. So I wanted to share that story with you guys tonight. If you are at all dealing with kids um, with this exact thing, with, you know, with focus issues, with kind of that, that noisy brain issue, reach out to us. Um, you know, find us on Facebook right here. Shoot us a question. We'll put a link to our next Perfect Storm workshop where we dive deep into the neurology and, and the chiropractic piece behind neurodevelopmental um, delays and disorders and sensory processing and how that all works. So we can't wait to connect with you guys. We'll link up the workshop below this. And, and as always, reach out if you have any questions. We, you know, we can't wait to help. Thanks.